is blow your mind in terms of the healing that's available. Um, but I can tell you that I've worked with people and have witnessed profound healings with really serious trauma, victims of rape, countless victims of, of, of sexual abuse, um, and, and have people have, who have healed permanently all sorts of issues of self-esteem, um, abandonment stuff, and on and on and on. It's really, really amazing, powerful practice. And if that wasn't enough, it can be profoundly extended. And some of the most amazing, extraordinary, phenomenal experiences I've had, I'll call them spiritual experiences, and I was like, I've been in the context of just doing this particular <laughs> breathing practice. It was like, what the fuck was that? Um, <laughs> that was not good shit. You know, and I was which just like, Which brings oh me to this next gosh, section, which is very interesting that in and, most spiritual traditions, or many spiritual right. traditions, and, and in many languages, and the word for spirit and breath are interchangeable. We just saw a lot from the Latin spirata, we get respiration, inspiration. From the ancient Greek pneuma, from which we get pneumonia, meant song, lung, and soul. And ha, the Hawaiian, I love because the Hawaiian ha, breath, ha, they had a very interesting, kind of derogatory term for the non natives, for the white folk, who invaded the islands, and they called them haole. Sometimes I say, can I just please be by time? Can I move on already? Because I'm getting tired. But no, it's just on my tongue, <laughs> I know that. So, and I don't even know why, but I know it's just not my If this is true, <laughs> what we're saying is like, well, wow, spirit for breath, one word can be interpreted, you, can be the, the same thing and has a different meaning to depending on the heart. Yes, what does that mean? <laughs> one of the things that I've, that I've learned and that I've it's noticed over years of, teacher, of teacher, observing seven. people and breathe really in particular ways, that the, to, the, to me it's undeniable that the breath is an intelligence, an intelligence of its own. And that sometimes it's breathed people in different ways for a particular purpose that I could have never figured out or anticipated, or that. And so for me, what that means is that in this, that we're being breathed by something, by something greater than we are. I go right to the very, very edge. So that means that in this moment, we're being breathed by the Holy Spirit. We're being animated by the Holy Breath. Whatever that means to you, there's no dogma necessary here. No need to believe in anything. Karate girl. I take it all the way back, and I and I do you know I do my balance and I and I do that. Take that Han. And then I do it back, and then I do uh, the other one. Talks about and I the do that as much as I possibly can because I know that it's just good for me. Whether I, I don't really know why I'm doing it, but I know that it just works. The feedback work. I don't know, our sense I don't of even have a clue why I'm doing it, but I know that it makes so good and it makes information about how connected we are you know, between so, our body and our spirit. It's hard sometimes, you know. That gives us information you know, about how connected we are to this and, greater and part I of just, us. And I just broke this to in, I can, Ineffable, I indefinable, down the street and I broke this inexpressible, right mysterious part of the world. But I'm still doing it on them, though. And it doesn't even really hurt that bad. It just feels fat and swollen, that's all it does. So you guys have been hurt, sitting all day, and now we know from our last speaker that sitting is the, the new smoking. <laughs> you know, it's really weird. So I invite you to stand for a moment. And I, and when, and I invite you to take a, a, we're gonna take a couple of breaths stuff, together. To give me this. I don't do any of them. And just, so I, I invite just, you to keep I this in mind as we take the first breath. So we think about it, now that we know that there's there's one thing that I want to add here, which has to do with the element of argon. And um, there's a movie that came out not too long ago, I Am, a documentary by Tom Chadiak, um, which I highly recommend. I show it at retreats, at weekend retreats. And one of the people that uh, he interviewed in the movie, one of the experts, talks about how 1% of the air that we breathe contains the element of argon, which is an inert element, which means that it's immutable, it doesn't change. So we breathe it in, and it comes back out identical. It's the same thing that we that we breathe in, unlike oxygen, that is released as transformed and transmuted as carbon dioxide. So what that means is that the argon that we're breathing right now is the same exact argon that was breathed by the Buddha and Jesus and Mary Magdalene. The same argon that was breathed by Gandhi and Dr. King and King David, and Abraham, and Muhammad, and Joan of Arc, and Mother Teresa. Leonardo, 
and Michelangelo's, and on and on and on, the same arbor that was breathed by all our greatest prophets and truth bringers and light carriers, the same arbor that was breathed by, by the greatest artists and inventors and creators in us right now, and the same arbor that was breathed by the saber-toothed tiger and the woolly mammoth and the pterodactyl. And that's being breathed today by the modern day elephant and the whale and the peacock and the butterfly. And yeah, So we'll retake this first breath and we'll for them. The first one. Let's remember now. So we're breathing the same stuff. And we think about it, where does my breath end and yours begin? So the first one will take as a reminder that there's really just one breath. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, here. Now 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 that's enough of yours. So you right here Maybe you didn't hear what I said in the beginning. Right that now, there's a relationship right now, right now, right now. between how much breath we can take in and how much life we can take in. So the next three, let's breathe breath. like you really mean it. Oh, let's breathe like if, like if our lives depended on it, oh. which they do. I said the second breath I want to give you give you this to, to keep in mind. We were out at the cliffs. We found his face out at the cliffs. Right here. Yeah. Human beings. I put them on Facebook. Yeah. See, yeah. All those ones and then that one. Cool. So that means yeah, that we should, like, in the last one, Jamie looks like Marilyn Monroe. She's like walking out of that it's thing. She looks like, it's like a Marilyn Monroe. Like um, um, so let's read this one as that reminder that we just want. So have patience. They don't it's value horrible. it. It's okay. And They're all innocent. And not only do we share 99.999% of our DNA with other humans, we share 98.4% of our DNA with chimpanzees. And 50% of our DNA with bananas. <laughs> so this one we're gonna take for one human family, for one for one earth, one earth family. Thanks. Go ahead and do that. And then this last one we'll just take together as one love, because ultimately, when we think about it, all the spiritual teachings talk about it. That is our essence. That is what we are. So, one love. Thank you. Thank you. Because you were behind me, and I pulled in there, and I was in there, and I pulled in, and already had parked, and was getting ready to get out of the car to go to the bathroom because I need smartphones to are fast. You know, so it's not smartphones, it's a computer to have around that. I'm talking <laughs> smartphones and computers. Okay. So if the yeah. smartphone's fast, why isn't the computer fast? Yeah. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. 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 What do you think will need? Doctors have discovered a miraculous how medicine. How do I get? That would allow you to catch yourself in times of stress, sadness, anger, anxiety, or pain. And within moments, regain control of yourself. So how long did the part Bring yourself together, stopping the suffering right at its tracks. All natural, 